Hello everyone, welcome to Draw with Namjil and in today's episode I'm gonna show you how to create blur effect or give blur effect to a vector art in Corel Draw. So without converting an object to into a bitmap image, you can apply blur effect. It's not actually blur effect, but it is similar to the blur effect. So what I'm going to do is take a shape, any shape, convert it to curve, and I'm going to distort it, distort the shape. So I'm actually going to give a blur effect on her cheek. Okay. So you gotta make a kind of shape here on her cheek sorry for the noise well and we're done with the shape fill it and remove the outline now what we're gonna do is select the drop shadow tool and select the top top option top second or third whichever let's select the top and you can see this shadow now what we're going to do is uh, we actually want the shadow on her cheek not the object so you go to the drop shadow and just bring the shadow on her cheek sorry again for the noise and now I go to this drop shadow opacity adjust it and the most important thing is you have to do the shadow feathering increase the value it's gonna give this blur effect very very blur. I think we need to uh, lower down the drop shadow opacity. Okay. Now we have this color picker here. It's the shadow color, and you have you can change change the color to red or let's say reddish pink. Okay, that's what we want. So after having this effect, what we're going to do is select the shadow or select both the shadow and the object. When we select the shadow, the both the both the object and shadow get selected. And after having the both things selected, we can press Control K. Which means you're separate, separate, separating the object from the shadow. I can tell the object and the shadow is still there. Now it's blur. See, I zoom in. The quality is same. No matter how big is the object all the image. Now you can apply the co or copy the uh, the blur object and you can flip horizontally and put it on the other cheek. Well, if you're not happy with it, the opacity you can go to the transparency tool and 
decrease the transparency I mean the opacity okay oh, sorry we have to increase the transparency so that it becomes more transparent okay again here also we can adjust it okay In this way we can create blur image to blur blur any anything blur on a vector image so that's it for all I mean that's all for today thanks for watching